Here is a small test shaft we found a couple years ago. What we're actually doing is heading out to locate a showing, VMS showing, and uh, do a little bit of sampling on it. So just a flooded Small test shaft, dumps here, prioritization in the dump. So this area right here, you can see the, the feldspar, you can see the pieces of quartz. We actually hammered those out. This is a exposure of chert. You have disseminated iron sulfides in it. You can see the yellow right there from your sulfur staining. You can see burgundy, which is indication of your oxides. This continues up here, and your exposure goes up here. We're going to actually walk in here a little bit and see if we can find anything. Then, uh, in the same zone, down on the edge of the road there, in the bank, you have sulfides exposed and stringers. You can see all this rock here in the bank. how it's becoming increasingly oxidized. Well, it gets even more oxidized down here. This is uh, volcanic tuff. I can see disseminated sulfides in this and sulfides in veins at the end there. We have lots of stringers here and solid mineralization going to about here. So maybe over six to eight inches Here's a couple of uh, samples that we found. They're pretty weathered, so let's get a uh, a better sample from in here. Spent the last half an hour hammering off samples. There's sort of a few different veins in between uh, rocks and you can see here's an area here we hammered off. There's another one there and another one down here. So we got a bunch of different samples here that look a little bit different. We got some massive sulfides and semi-massive sulfides bunch of uh, samples across this entire exposure here and some from up there. Here's some more. This was a grab sample right below. So that's massive calcopyrite and pyrite. There actually is some quartz associated with this as well. You can see in this sample here, quartz veining. No mineral in the quartz. Seems to be all in the foliations of your schists and disseminated in your tuff.
And these samples here, probably the best ones we've found, with massive sulfides, pretty coarse. So those are the samples, that's us showing, although it'd be nice to open up this a bit more. And obviously the way this is running and the amount of samples that the logging company actually tossed in on the bank over here, most likely this would have been running in this direction and you probably have it going down underneath the small little lake here which is more like a swamp we have a float sample here which we found just down the road from that showing pretty weathered and you have some nice massive sulfides in there look at how deteriorated this is sulfides sulfides So that's it guys, that's the duration of prospecting for this part of the mountain. Time to head home, we'll see you guys next time, take care.